What's up, man? How are you? How are you feeling? Talk us through the emotions right now. Um, feeling good, man. Excited. Yeah. Uh, I think every man watching that fight kind of wants to know how how are we feeling after the low blows. Are we all right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My balls are tender, bro. <laughs> Thought they might be. I need an ice pack, like ASAP. <laughs> when you get hit, not once, but twice with a low blow, and obviously pretty hard ones, I could hear it hitting the cup from where I was sitting. Is it hard to keep your momentum? Is it hard to really get yourself back in there? Because it saps your energy, it saps your cardio, I imagine. Yeah, I mean, mentally, it's, it's kind of hard, but you kind of just got to turn that switch back on and do what you got to do. You know, like, what am I going to do? Just say, stop the fight. Like, <laughs> so you got to get back out there. So it's just a switch that I had to flip back on. Is it almost a silver lining that you were able to show you can take that sort of annoying adversity and come through it and push past it and show Dana, like, look, I don't just fall down when it's easy to fall down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, yeah, it's tough to push through that. Yeah, so yeah. so I, I, I feel like, like they... Oh, fuck. No pun intended, but like I showed some balls, you know. <laughs> if he hit you again, then maybe you would have. Yeah, yeah, I really would have. Do you, were you sure that you were going to get the contract or are you sitting there still nervous until he does his speech and, and lets you know? Yeah, you never know. I, I just don't really know how 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 much they like my performance. So I, I was just really waiting for him to say the words. When you get, when you we hear the words, what's the emotion? How do you feel? Like excitement, man. Like, like it's the next chapter. It's, it's time to really start like my journey like, you know like it's the beginning of a new chapter Good stuff, man. last thing for me when do you want to fight in there when do you want to fight in the ufc properly you know the, the full show um whenever whenever they're ready to, to have me in there I, I would like to have like a real solid training camp but if i got to do some short notice shit just to get my name out there like it's whatever but whenever they're ready congratulations man thank you sir Shit, you got to think that this time was was definitely going to come. You know, looking at a lot of the cats that come in and perform on this show, your wealth of experience is, is just crazy. It's leaps and bounds. You know, like just like Laura kind of said, you fought for every other major organization out there. Did you know that it was just a matter of time, a matter of just sort of just working your way through the other promotion that you knew that you would find some way here? And did you think that the Contender Series would be that way to get in, in the doorway? Uh, nah, nah. Especially after fighting for the other major companies, I thought I already had my foot in the door, you know. But um, this is a good way to show that, like, like I just had to, like, put the work in to get there, too. Like, there's, there's not going to be an easy route for me. Like, I'm not just going to get that call and say, hey, come fight for the UFC. It's like, hey, you still got to work to get there, too. So no matter how much experience I had, so whatever route I had to take, fuck it. I'm cool with it. You know, and we didn't get to hear from Dana tonight because I actually want to ask you to see if this was a guy that they've had their eyes on. You know, like you said, your brother was in here and did amazing things for the UFC. You know, you would like to think that they were, had their eye on you mm -hmm. as well. But what did it mean to be sitting in there in the octagon, getting ready to fight, but hearing your brother and hearing you had people on both sides of the cage. Mm -hmm. You had a lot of a lot of people and family and friends out there. You know, how did it feel to to get this and do it in front of your brother, knowing that uh, you wanted to continue? the Njokiwani legacy here in the UFC? It was dope. I mean, it's like a long time coming, full circle. Like My brother, with his career in the UFC, like he paved the way for me. I, I, I was with him in, in his corner for all of his fights, so I sat there and I watched how how he got down in, in this organization. I saw like the professionalism. I saw like what you had to do to stay, stick around. And so uh, it was just a matter of time before I got my call. It, did, it definitely looked like the, the game plan was trying to keep him standing for a lot of it and try to strike and stuff, but you certainly weren't afraid when he did take you down on the ground. You know, Was there ever any moments, it looked like there was maybe a couple of times he was trying to grab your legs, maybe try to work a knee or something, but you stayed cognizant of that. Was there any danger uh, of going to the ground, or did you kind of welcome the, the, the time of him trying to pull you in there? I figured my ground was better than this, so I, I wasn't really worried about it. But I train with some of the best out there, you know. At Sergio Pena's, there's just not many people better than our guys at that gym. Like even fucking Duda, he's half my size, and he <laughs> and he gives me a problem every day, you know. That's Sergio's son. So I, I wasn't worried at all going to the ground and striking. Like I, I I was down to fight anywhere, you know. And once you started making some contact in that in that that third round, and you started hurting him. Could you tell that the, the end was coming soon? Did you yeah. feel that, that he was doing damage and that he was he was starting to wilt a little bit? Yeah, my, my whole game plan was just to break him. And it was a matter of time. I, I knew it probably wasn't going to be in the first, 
but I, I just knew if I just kept pushing and just and just keep wearing them out, he's, he was going to fold eventually. And again, your guy that's got a ton of experience, you know, you could probably almost want to come in here and say, hey, you know, don't just give me the, the 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 new guys in the division. You know, I got some experience. Are you hoping to try to get maybe pushed up a little bit sooner and fighting fire higher level guys, you know, sooner, or you you just you want to take the ride slow and make sure that you just work your way up. You know, I, so I, I got the experience. I can fight whoever. I'll fight the new guy. I'll fight for a belt. Like, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just down to fight. Congrats on the victory. Thank you, sir. Chitty, congrats on the win. Thank just you, a, just a real quick one from the Shevchenko sisters, Cozy brothers, Nick and Nate Diaz. Can you know, tell the fans and anybody watching, how does it feel to now be with your brother? And that's your accomplishment. You guys are MMA pros, UFC fighters. How does How does that make you feel? Fuck, it's dope. Like this was the whole game plan from the start. I didn't expect it to take this long, but it, it, it's it's dope. Like you don't get that too often. Two brothers that are both actually good, and both can make it to the big leagues. Like like we, we accomplished something with this. Congrats, man. Scenic route or however you did it. Congrats. Yeah, thank you, sir. Shout out to the squad. One kick, Nick. Sergio Pena. Saxon Janjura. Let's go.